hello guys welcome back to my channel so in the last update of the longer version of this is fit karan decided to use natasha in order to make brita feel jealous not knowing that natasha is the next or new enemy in the lutra house and preview was feeling restless because he really wants to do something in order to hurt brita because brita defeated him in every way so let's continue everyone are celebrating lorry festival at the lutra house Shruti and Janki wish Raki happy lorry and Karina seeing this stands up and explains that Maesh has come out of the room after a long time and they all are really happy so she doesn't want Janki and Shruti to do anything that will ruin their mood. Janki asks that why is Karina talking like this since it is the moment to celebrate and remain happy. Shruti goes to sit in front of Maesh Lutra wishing him happy lorry and Maesh doesn't react a lot but he asks that where are the dramas that Shruti was talking about. Preeta standing thinks that Maesh might feel like dancing and had she known this before, then she would have asked Karan to call the dramas early. Karan walks in with the band and he himself is beating a drum. The entire family along with the guests started dancing. Maesh slowly walks over to Karan where he also started dancing. The announcer announces that the function will become lively when Karina dance along with Grandma. Karina comes to the stage and dance with Grandma. Then after that, the announcer announced that the stage will be set when Sherlyn dance along with her sister Natasha. And both Sherlyn and Natasha begins to dance while Shriti looks at them and she feels frustrated. Shriti thinks that she should have danced with Samiru, but after a while, Shriti tells herself to calm down since she is no longer on the best terms with Samiru. The announcer also after a while calls the son-in-law of the house to come and dance. Kritika walks to pull Prithvi to the dance floor and seeing Prithvi, Maya started shivering, so Raki and Grandma takes him to the side. The announcer says that now, the event will be fruitful when Karan and Prita dance, so Karan and Prita both goes to the stage and they started dancing. Seeing the opportunity, Natasha also joins Karan and Prita and pushing Prita away. Natasha begins to dance with Karan, however, seeing this, Shruti joins the dance along with Janki, so they are able to once again make Prita dance with Karan. Prita after a while leaves, which surprises Karan, so he also follows her. Shailene pulling the hand of Natasha takes her to the corner, asking that what is going on, but Natasha acted as if she doesn't know anything. Shailene says that she is not blind and she can see everything that is going on. Natasha asks that what does Shailene want, so she should present her with a shield. Natasha tries to leave and she asks Sherlyn that how did she dare hold her hand like this and if Sherlyn never tries to do anything like this again, then she is going to file a domestic abuse complaint against her. Sherlyn wonders what Natasha is saying and Natasha says that she is a human just like them all so she tends to make mistakes a lot and Sherlyn must calm down. She tries to leave but Sherlyn stops her saying that she is not finished. Natasha asks that then why does she not want to talk? She praises Sherlyn saying that she was testing Sherlyn if Sherlyn uses her brain or power but she has seen that Sherlyn uses her brain so this means that she understood her warning. Natasha explains that she likes Sherlyn since she is able to understand the signs and even Natasha knows all her plans but how can she answer so many questions of Sherlyn when she herself doesn't know what the next step will be. Sherlyn asks Natasha if she knows the reason they have brought her to this house. Natasha says that she was brought to this house to get close to Karan but their plan did not work and she therefore thought about using a second plan since she can mend it till the time that the plan doesn't work. Charlene explains that Natasha's plan is not working because it is even bringing both Prita and Karan together instead of separating them. Natasha says that this is the difference between rich people like her and those who are from the street. Natasha says that both Sherlyn and Prithvi always think that there are only two ways to complete a tax, but she has a lot of other ways to complete it. Natasha says that her first plan was to get close with Karan using her beauty, but it failed. So now she is making Karan believe that if they make Prita feel jealous, then Prita will come close to him. But it is the opposite, because Prita would go away from Karan because of the misunderstandings that she is going to create between them both. Natasha says that she even has a plan C that she would put in effect if her plan B fails. Sherlyn asks that what is that plan. However, Natasha says that she just reviewed her plan B and Sherlyn must let it work first and until it fails, then she is going to enjoy her lorry. Sherlyn thinks that Natasha is a difficult person to understand. Preta is working with the tray while Karan is following her while eating the peanuts. 
Prita says that Karan is following her and he hides behind the pillar. Prita says Karan, so she goes behind him. Karan comes out and he is not able to find Prita. Prita comes from behind and asks that what is going on. Karan says that the wind is blowing and he is eating the peanut. Karan says that something is burning, which he is enjoying. Prita replies that he has a lot of misunderstandings, that people tend to get jealous after seeing him, but she is not affected at all, and Karan is just an arrogant and a short-tempered person. Karan says that Prita herself is a jealous person, because she said that she is not affected, but she said a lot of bad things to him. Prita replies that Karan is really difficult to understand, and she cannot ruin the celebration because of Karan's stupid words. Prita tries to leave, but Karan says that Prita is saying that she is not affected, but she is getting irritated when she sees him with Natasha. Prita asks that what is Natasha doing in this house, since she doesn't even live here. Karan asks that what does Prita mean. Prita replies that this is her house, so she needs to know who is living in it. Karan says that Prita is still getting jealous of him and Natasha. Prita says that both of them look good together, because Natasha is stupid, while Karan is foolish. Prita tries to leave, but Karan calls her a Hitler from behind. Prita asks that what did Karan mean, and Karan says that he thought of it. Prita seeing Shruti and Janki leaves, saying that she doesn't need to talk to Karan. Karan says that Prita has not changed even a little bit, and she is still the same. Prita walking also thinks that Karan has also not changed, and he is still a flirt. Prita goes to stand with Shruti and Janki in anger. Janki asks that what happened. And Prita asks them to ask her who she met. She explains that she met Karan who called her as Hitler. She asks them to wonder how can he say this to her. Janki asks that how dare Karan to talk to Prita like this because now Prita is now the owner of this house so she should be a little strict with Karan. Prita realizes that she will not be able to do it and Prita says that it is not that of a big deal to be worried about. Shruti explains that Karan was not wrong because Prita is now the boss of this house and some people like the boss, while others do not, so after which they tend to give names, so Karan might have also called Prita a Hitler because of that. Prita says that Karan just wanted to irritate her, which is why he called her Hitler. Janki asks if Prita is angry because Karan called her Hitler, or Prita is angry because Karan did not give her any other name. Prita started to think about Janki's question. Janki again asks Prita if she is angry that Karan called her Hitler, or he did not call her any other name, and Prita replies that she doesn't know. Raki calls Janki to herself, and Shruti asks that what is Prita doing, as she needs to control her emotions, which can be seen from her face. Prita says that today is Lori, and she can hug Raki if she likes, but Shruti says that Prita herself told her to warn her if she does something like this. Raki comes to Janki, Prita leaves without talking to Raki, and Raki gets really worried. Shruti informs Raki that Prita has changed with time, so she has gotten to be like a Hitler. Raki says that Shruti should also hear what she has to say, and she knows that Prita would never do anything like this, and she would never harm the family, since she always thought good for the family. Janki assures Raki that everything will be fine, and Shruti thinks that she must not express her care to the Lutra so openly, because this would destroy Prita's plan. Shruti walks to the party where she greets the guests, and she even starts a conversation with them. Samru seeing Shruti thinks of talking with her, but he is really confused, wondering if he should actually talk with her. Samru decided never to give up so easily, as he is always waiting for the perfect moment, but it never arrives, and Samru standing behind Shruti is thinking of what he can do, as Karan has advised him to keep trying. Samru is walking and Shruti bumps into him, and she is about to fall. Samru, however, catches her, so they both started getting into a romantic moment, Shruti slowly walks away and turns to leave, but Samru holds her hand, pulling her back once again, after which even Shruti is not able to control her emotions, but she pulls off her hand. Samru wishes Shruti happy Lori, saying that it felt really nice that she came. Samru asks that why is Shruti not talking to him at the Lori function. Shruti replies that she is not saying anything, because she did not forget what happened two years ago, how Samru ended everything that was between them, just because he needed to be with his brother. Samru goes after Shruti, thinking that he will not give up. Prithvi looking at the coconut thinks that where is Shumbu, because he doesn't have time, and he is waiting for the special gift for Prita. Shruti coming from behind asks if Prithvi believe in God from the start, or did he get scared of Prita, so he is trying to seek for forgiveness. 
Pridfis says that he is not scared of anyone, but people are scared of him. And he asks that how does Shriti has so much poison filled inside of her since he feels that she should be a precious jewel. Shriti says that maybe Pridfi is really special because she starts getting so angry after seeing him and she is not calm and composed like her sister and she is not able to remain calm. So whatever is in her heart is on her mouth and she saw Pridfi here. So she thought that he would have gotten better but she knows how Pridfi really is so he must not even think of doing anything wrong against her sister. Pridfi asked Shriti to calm down since she was never able to do anything against him in the past and it will not change anytime soon. Shruti asks if Pritfi forgot who sent him to jail. As a matter of fact, it was Prita asking if he remembered anything. Pritfi says that he lives in the present, so Shruti is forgetting what he is at the moment and Shruti is forgetting why she is saved from his anger since he has to tackle a lot of people. And Pritfi wants Shruti to not even misbehave with him as he would make her pay for what she tries to do with him and Pritfi leaves and Shruti asks that who is it to threaten her. Shruti sees Sherlyn going and she tries to make her fall. Sherlyn asks that why is Shruti always trying to make her fall. Shruti asks that when has she refused that she tried to arm her. Sherlyn tries to go after her but she is stopped when the guests wish her happy lorry. Shruti walking bumps into Karan. She immediately wishes him happy lorry and Karan asks that how has Shruti been in the past two years. Shruti assures Karan that she was fine but her sister is a lot better than her. Karan says that Prita is good but she has now gotten promoted and she is now even frustrated while being the bitter cord. Shriti says that Karan meant Hitler. Karan says that this means that Prita has complained to Shriti about him, but he explains that it is nothing to be worried about since Shriti is his sister-in-law. Shriti informs Karan that no matter what happens, her sister is the best in this world and she asks if Karan was trying to instigate her against Prita. Karan asks if things cannot be the same as before. And Shruti says that she can be on Karan's team, but if she has to choose between Karan and her sister, then she would always take the side of her sister. Karan says that he has given Shruti the permission to take the side of her sister, and Shruti started laughing with excitement, but she gets really tensed after seeing Samru. Karan asks Shruti to at least talk with Samru for once, and Shruti informs Karan that the injury that she received two years ago has not filled up till now, since it is still fresh and Samuel hears what Shruti is saying. Shruti immediately calls Prita and Karan asks Shruti to talk with Samuel just for his sake while he will talk with Prita. Shruti leaves and Samuel tries to come close to her. Pritfi is waiting while Shumbu comes there and gives him a coconut. Pritfi is really impressed, saying that Shambu made the coconut bomb exactly how he asked him to make it. Pritfi asks Shambu that what if their coconut is mixed with someone else's own, so how would they manage to find it? Shumbu informs Pritfi that he has made a mark so they can never mix it. Pritfi assures Shambu that he is going to give him the amount that he desires since he has completed his work and he asks Shambu to leave before anyone sees him. Pritfi gets worried as the coconut is about to fall. Karan is working with the guest and he sees Prita so he goes after her. Prita tries to leave and Karan asks that why is Prita ignoring him. Prita says that she doesn't want Karan to fight with her as she has a lot of work to do. Karan says that he wants to ask Prita something and Prita must reply honestly. Karan asks if Prita got jealous after seeing him with Natacha. Prita replies that she doesn't get jealous at all. The guest leaves saying that it is time for the puja. Prita also leaves and Karan also accompanies her. Pritfi secretly places the coconut bomb in the tray and he is shocked to see two girls coming to take the trays and he started giving the trays to the girls one by one. After a while, Shailen also comes there and asks that why is Pritfi the one giving the trays to the girls. Pritfi asks if Shailen can see which tray has the coconut bomb and this is why he is standing here so that only Prita would take the tray with the coconut bomb and after that Prita would suffer a blast because of the bomb. Shailen is walking back with the tray and she accidentally eats Shruti. Shailen says that she was really happy when Shruti was not present in their house since the last two years. Shruti replies that but now she has come back and she is going to make Shailen pay for all her wrongdoings. Shruti says that she feels sorry for the Lutras who are not able to see how clever Shailen is actually is but now she is going to ruin every of Shailen's plan just like what she did to her today for trying to arm Janki. Shailen tries to explain herself but Shruti says that she never asked for it and Shruti herself goes to pick a tray but she is stopped by Pritfi and Shailen was shocked 
wondering why prefix stop her from taking a tray for the puja all right guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video share it and i'll see you all again in my next video bye guys